I'm a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can't even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist is so many they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Whenever you're in a rush your horse disappears to the furthest point in the field so that you can come and catch them. And she bloody knows as well. Look at her turning around looking at me. Come here, missus. Look at this, I've got a treat. A meager equine coconut treat, so if you know, you know. Good girl. So in today's vlog, we are going for our very first training session with Sarah Bullymore. Now, you will know who that name is unless you've been living under a rock when you're eventing because she has been in the top 10, the last Burley and the last badminton last year. She's a bit of an eventing queen in my eyes. Definitely knows what she's doing. Her horse is amazing, Rev de Rue. And Mega and I are hoping today to go and get some tips from her ahead of our second one day event of the season. We are off to Aston this weekend, so see what tips we can pick up. Yeah, and then kick her on the outside and then push her with the inside. 
one washed off Megwin after a very sweaty workout. So a late finish means a debriefing in the car before I head home. As you can tell, even though it's, you know, some hours later, the state of my hair, we were put through our paces this evening. Definitely a full on workout. I actually really enjoyed it. It was like literally a mixture of a full on flat work lesson. And then once you were fully established and going well on the flat, that's when we were then adding jumps in. So we definitely worked really hard, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was our first ever session with Sarah today. Never had her before, but we'll definitely be heading back for some more coaching. Where I'm having to think of every little thing, because Mega is young, she's still learning, and I've never brought on a youngster before, so by no means am I experienced but I'll be concentrating on one thing so then I might forget and say my right hand starts lifting up or my knees start grabbing onto the saddle and they need to relax. So it's really useful having a coach who has an eye for all of those little minor things but just reminds me of that throughout the session. So it was really useful and because we focused so much on the flat and worked so hard getting her supple and really listening and bending around my leg to begin with, by the time then we added the jumps in, she she was literally flying, feeling in a very good, happy position. We've never been to Aston for a full-on one-day event before. We've only been there for arena eventing and that didn't go that well. I think that was back in February of this year. So that gives you sort of an idea of how far Mega has come because if you took her to a new venue and she hadn't seen any of the jumps before or the format was different, so with that one, you had to go through like three different arenas, it just blew her brain. It'll be a really good test to see where she's at in her head because Kiso, like I sort of mentioned on my previous vlog, is her home ground, it's her home turf. So she is very comfortable there. Whereas Aston, she's never even trained over their cross country fences there. So that will be a real good test to see if she has trust in me and is up for it like she was at Kiso. And yeah, see how she gets on. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed this evening and I will go home and probably continue to watch the footage back for hours and hours because she was just pinging like a little trooper. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see some more videos from us in the very near future. Thanks. Bye for now.